we're back. Okay, so the first episode was nice. I ran back. I was good. It gave me a fairly good hangover. That's not necessarily a good thing. But the uh, the next one, I'm I'm a bit kind of not really bothered in because it see, didn't seem very appealing. The can looks like it's something from I don't know, like a looks like Duff beer. So with any fair, without further ado, I'm going to give you the next beer of this week. It is Galahad. So, apparently Galahad is meant to be alright, I've heard. And uh, where are we looking here? It's traditionally brewed. And it tells us to know my limits. Bit late for that. Refreshingly excellent. With a picture of a Peugeot animal. Right, let's tuck in. This is a strange one. It kind of gives you the taste. Like, like a, an upsetting kind of taste. Bit watery, really. Um, 4%. I mean, Carlin... We're, we're talking Carlin here. I like Carlin, but... it's it's It just tastes waterier. And uh, for such a strong name as Galahad, you'd expect something pretty extreme, really. Like that... Well, to be honest, that, that's kind of a good review, really. If you look at the can... That's kind of what you do when you drink it. Kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's not too clever. And it's, it's nicely prized, but not too good. It's, it's not refreshingly excellent. It's more like depressingly, well, not good. It kind of gives us the impression, you know, like if a guy meets his daughter's boyfriend for the first time, firm handshake, and then he goes up to the computer later on when the missus is asleep, flicks on the porn channel, looks on the first page and sees that he's a porn star, and you just get that like, well, duh. I'm not saying that it gives you the taste like there's a porn star fucking your daughter, but it could, it could, but um, yeah. Galahad shit. <laughs>